All right, Shalom. <coughs> it's the brother from the GMS. So we kind of came back with another video. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash. The of the apostles and elders, the great millstone, were teaching us the storm of sin and truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessings so for the to the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Just going to get into a lesson. You know, we see things are, you know, really getting tight, you know, across the four corners of our, especially, <coughs> you know, we know that uh, these injections are going to uh, come, you know, they call it the cure for the, for the crown royale, you know, a CB-19, you know, trying to be as wise as you can be, especially with this, uh, easiest new algorithm, but, you know, see these injections on the way and you see a lot of people bugging out a lot of people aren't a lot of people are going to lose it you know they say when uh, um when when people lose everything they lose it you know people are about to lose everything you know it's about to be a, a great famine great food shortages here in babylon the great and really across the four corners of the earth you see you know, mass chaos, rioting, looting, cannibalism. These things are all coming to America, you know. And how, how the real question is how should you be preparing yourself for these things to come? Because, you know, a lot of people there, even these uh, bug out specialists, you know, they put their whole life into being, you know, a prepper. You see, and they're really, they're seeing <coughs> that... There's a flaw in their plan. See, there's not a flaw. There's no flaw with Yahweh by Shema and Shai. You see, this is um Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. So Scripture is telling us that you know us gathering up wisdom, us studying, reading, you know, uh, getting built up, understanding the Scriptures. Us having that uh, uh, personal relationship with Yahweh by Shema Shai, constantly praying unto the Lord, you know, having the Comforter, you know, which is the Holy Spirit, which gives us this understanding, is what is going to be able to keep us stable in, in, in these trying times that are coming. Let's get this word stable. It says stable. It says firmness, fidelity, steadfastness. Uh, steadiness Stead, uh, Steadness Steadiness Yep You know And fidelity goes back to faith So our belief Our faith In the scriptures You know Us You know uh, Believing in Yahweh by Shema Shai In the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai Because every Name Has a um, wait, How wish I say Every name Has a, a A rep behind it You know And you know The names of Yahweh by Shema Shai we know those to be uh, the omnipotent beings of the universe, you see, and they are controlling everything. And they gave us orders and commands of things that we should be doing in these times to prepare ourselves before all hell breaks loose. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. So the times of Jacob's trouble, us getting... Uh, this knowledge was going to be able to keep us stable. Let's get the definition uh, for stability as well. You know, let's look that up. <laughs> stability, firmness, balance, solidarity, uh, uh, strength, so security, safety, uh, balance of mind, soundness, mental health. So while the rest of the world is bugging out, us believing, us understanding that these things must come to path up, come to pass that there's only one way into the kingdom of heaven, you know, and that Yahweh by Shema Shai, no matter what is going to be with us through all these things, is going to keep us of a sound mind, you know, sound meaning whole. Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge to be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord. It's his treasure, yeah, and those uh oh who fear the Lord is the elect, and they are gathering up this knowledge. You see, they're uh they're gathering up the treasure of Yahweh Shemel Shai, which is this knowledge. This is 
Proverbs 2 and 1, my son, <coughs> if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. Now, what does it mean to hide the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai? <coughs> Let's get it. You know, it means to, you know, brothers, if you're following along, you know, on your phones or your computer, you can see the word or you can even go to it yourself. You know, I've just, uh, uh, I don't want to click on the word because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to try it. It will uh, stop the video. But it says, to hide treasure, uh, treasure or store up. So, we are supposed to store up this knowledge. You know, how do you store up the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai? By, you know, by studying, by being, uh, by meditating on the scriptures. By applying thy mind to understand these things, you know, if you uh, want to get good at football, what do you have to do? You have to, you know, go run. You have to do the conditioning. You know, you have to make sure you're you're doing your stretches. You know, same thing when it comes to applying and trying to uh, get this knowledge. You see, you have to watch the videos. You have to be reading for yourself. You have to, uh, you know, study. You know, get different breakdowns. Look things up. You know, take notes. These are the type of things that you have to do. You know, you pray for Tehavah Shema Shai for understanding, you see. Uh, Proverbs 2 and 1, my son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commands with thee, so that thou incline thine ear, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom, so you have to incline your ear onto wisdom, you see? Not onto the folly of, of, of this world. And apply thy heart to understanding. So, you know, you have to actually put in an effort, you know, to keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai to the best of your ability. Let's get that in Sirach, the first chapter. This is uh, Sirach 1 and 26. If thou desire wisdom... So if you if the if if wisdom is something that you want, you know, we just broke down that, you know, us having this wisdom is gonna keep us stable. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. You see, and the Lord shall give her on to thee. So if you want the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of scriptures, you have to take heed to what the prophets of Yah by Shema Shai are saying. You know, telling you to repent, turn back. You know, what did Yahweh Shai say? Uh, at least a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Now, in order for you to enter into the kingdom of the Most High, you know, what's the beginning? It starts with this knowledge, you know? Verse 3, Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lift up, up, and lift it up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hid treasures, you know, so if you are really, you know, putting the effort in to get this knowledge, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. <coughs> And the mouthpiece of the uh, of Yahweh by Shema Shai are his prophets. You see, what did the um, what did uh, the Ethiopian eunuchs ask Philip? You know, uh, he desired that Philip would come up and read with him. You know, because he didn't understand, because he didn't have that understanding. So you have to be taught. You know, by men down here on this earth. You know, which are starting where apostles and others, a great millstone. This is um, Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me. Now this is talking about wisdom. And those that seek me early shall find me. Yeah, because there's going to be ultimately a famine of the words. You know, the prophets of how Yahweh by Shema Shai are going to be uh, taken off the streets. You know, our videos are going to be deleted off of YouTube. You know, and, you know, various other sites brother, may, brothers may post. You know, not talking about social media, but you know, various other sites. You know, um, you see, this is Proverbs eight and seventeen. 
I love them that love me. And, and how do you uh, ultimately show wisdom that uh, you love her? You know, uh, really, you know, wisdom being a woman, Sophia. You know, also our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, you can read that, you know, right here in this chapter. And then Sirach, the first chapter. You know, I believe there may be one other one. Uh, but those are the ones that are on the top of my head. You know, uh, uh, it says you, you keep the commandments like we just read in... Uh, um, in Sirach the first chapter, you see, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. So that's what you're. That's how you should be preparing yourself for the things that are coming down. You know, uh, the pipeline. You see, the things that are about to come. You should be seeking after this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, which is going to also be able to keep you stable. You know, you just got to put in the effort, put in the time. You know, stop with all the. The nonsense and the folly, you know, because none of that at the end of the day is going to matter. This is a Second Peter three and eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So at the end of the day, you know, we know Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed by two hundred million ICBM nuclear missiles. You know, we are hasting in the day. You know, so and, and while we hit today, we're getting this knowledge, we're getting this understanding. You know, we're studying, reading, praying. You know, remember, you know, scriptures talk about till I come, give attendance to reading. You know, exhortation. You know, doctrine. You know, I don't want to make this lesson too long. You know, Lord's will and lesson was edifying. You know, through the spirit and power of God by Shimon Shai. You know, just something quick. You know, hey, get this wisdom while you still have time. You know, with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the Barnes, the Apostle, and others of Great Millstone, for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings, so, for like to the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.